Dozens of people are still displaced after that partial collapse in the Bronx back in December. All right, now they're taking action and have filed a lawsuit against both the city and their landlord. And as Fox 5's Ashley Rodriguez explains, they say their troubles started long before the collapse. 1915 Billingsley Terrace is patched up after an entire corner collapsed on December 11th. Yvonne Shoup remembers it well. It was his exposed bed amongst the rubble that caught the eyes of horrified onlookers. I couldn't even believe it. I thought it was like in a really bad nightmare. Two months later, and the nightmare has not ended. Shoup remains homeless, and many of his neighbors have been surviving in shelters. It's why they, emotional and weary, gathered Monday, announcing they are teaming up with the Legal Aid Society to sue the landlords and the city. <laughs> You got so many people, they don't know what the hell to do, where to go, no money, no food. Around 30 tenants are asking for the collapsed section of the building to be rebuilt and for immediate repairs. Inside the 100-year-old building, rooms are said to be infested with rats and roaches, no janitorial services, cooking gas or hot water. The Legal Aid Society says they found 133 violations, more than half of which are classified as immediately hazardous. These are seasoned landlords who understand that the living conditions in this building, gone unabated, could have resulted in this catastrophe. We reached out to the landlords, David Kleiner, Yona Roth, Mo Doe, and 1915 Realty LLC, who are reportedly the owners of 40 buildings across the city, but they could not be reached for comment and have not responded to the lawsuit. What does a notice of violation mean? What does it mean to have these laws on the books? if a building is allowed to fall apart. The lawsuit is also targeting the city, the Department of Buildings, and the Department of Housing, Preservation, and Development. City Council is now investigating the lack of inspection and accountability. The Legal Aid Society says their first court date is February 20th. The goal is to get an order to correct the violations as soon as possible. They say if the landlords don't comply, they'll be asking to use the power of the court to ratchet up the fines and put pressure on them to do the work to ensure the safety of this building. In the Morris Heights section of the Bronx, Ashley Rodriguez, Fox 5 News.